Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day, fun-filled, enjoying your time with your family. It's my first actual Christmas with my grandbaby. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, we had a wonderful time down at the cabin yesterday, and this afternoon we're going to get together and open more presents. So we're going to make this lovely card that you just saw. It's the last card of the season. I'm kind of sad. But I figure we better get started, and I hope uh, you enjoy my presentation today. Let's get going. So, so sad, the last card of the year. I love the paper that I used on this. It's this designer series paper, and I've used only a tiny fraction of it. I don't even know if you can see it because it's so hard. It's all velvety and smooth in different patterns. Um, and you can't even get it right now, it's gone. Um, so if someone would like that paper and was didn't get something they really wished for Christmas and wanted to place an order today, um, I'll send it to the first person that places an order today. Um, you just need to use this code, and then I'll know that you placed the order based on what I just told you. And I will send you that package of designer series paper for free. Um, so, let's get started. How do I make this card? Okay. The first thing I have to do is make this centerpiece. So I am going to take a scrap piece of paper and I am going to be using um, In the Pine stamp set. This stamp set is on sale right now and I have both the stamps and the um, cutters and you can get it from me at a, the same discounted price plus you'll save shipping. Um, so if you want that set, let me know because no one has claimed it yet. Um, I have, I'm going to stamp the background of the tree first. Like that. And then I'm going to take my shaded spruce, which is a darker green, and stamp right over it. The hardest part is lining it all up, but I think I'm going to do a pretty good job. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to work, and it did. So now that I have that, I can go ahead and cut that out. Um, I probably should go ahead and stamp my sentiment so that it can dry. Let's get that stamped right now. The hardest part is getting it centered, it, and I'm impressed. I'm stamping it upside down and backwards, but that's not that hard. You just have to center it, really. I didn't do a great job there. Probably should have been looking at it. Now, to cut this out, I am going to use one of the cutters from in here, which is this one right here. And I am going to run it through my little Stampin' and Emboss machine that I've been showing you all week. Cut and Emboss machine. Now, I probably should move this so that I don't damage my card. And I am going to need the base plate and the two clear plates for that. So I take one of my clear plates, put that down, put it in like that, put this on here. Now, sometimes when you run these through, they move around. So you can use washi tape. I've had a lot of luck, so I'm just gonna see how it goes. As long as I bring it down evenly, I should be good, and I got it. Once it catches, it's all set. And I just run it through so light I can pick it up while I'm rolling. And then I set it right here where I can always see it. I can save that piece for another card. Remember how we did that card a couple weeks ago? Um, and this is the end of my 40th week of doing this. It's Friday today. 
And now I'm ready to put my card together. I should put this back so I don't lose it, just in case someone wants it. I'll clean those stamps. We'll do that, but let's put together a card. So what we need for a card is an eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. Um, and I always like to take my bone folder and run it right along that edge to crisp that up. I'm going to glue down this piece. There's nothing adhered to the back of it. You can see I'm really super careful about where I put my glue. Ha ha ha. I hope you're having a nice day with your family and friends. Um, now this piece takes a little bit longer to glue down, so I'm going to glue this down first to that, and then that next piece on top. Because that fuzzy stuff just makes it a little trickier, and I'm going to push this towards the top a little bit because I'm going to put that banner across the bottom. Now I just want to make sure I put the glue on the back side, and I decided to just put dots of glue where I saw a lot of... This glue does dry clear, but why push the envelope, right? So I'm just putting dot, dot, not a lot. With the glue, less is more. Okay, and now I just got to line that up. And I think I'm going to dimensional this tree. I didn't do that with the first card. I just want to see how that is different. But I'm going to need a lot of dimensionals because that stuff is strangely not sticky. Put that right there in the middle. And now put our season's greetings down. And I have one last card for Christmas. I took my braided ribbon and I pre-made um, that. I actually made that freehand. It was easier to make it because some th ribbons are tough on the bow easy. And I sort of rolled up that blue dot. And then w this is something that's in the main catalog that I use for all kinds of stuff. Uh, just a pretty star for the top of the tree um, and there you have it my last card of the year for christmas i bet you next week i'll pull one out i won't be able to control myself <laughs> i hope you had a, a great christmas day um, and you've enjoyed this week i wanted to share with you one last time if you haven't seen it all the beautiful cards i've been getting i'll share more next week because i keep getting them this one's from Ann Wilburn, uh, April, Dewan. I don't know if people want me to say their last names. Laura Curry. She's uh, my upline. She does such pretty cards. My good friend Cheryl that I worked with for years. She works so hard on her cards and always comes up with pretty ones. And Monica Rapazzo. I love this card. I love the Courier Knives look to it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, and don't forget... If you didn't get what you wanted for Christmas and want to place an order, use that code and you'll get the free designer series paper to, just to the first person that orders. I'm, I can't give it to everybody, but I have a big pack of it. It's missing half a sheet, so you get it for free. Enjoy, have a great day, and I'll see you on Monday.